Greetings from Neuron Themes. Creating a menu doesn't have to be all technical. With Neuron Themes and all the tools you have at your disposal, you can design navigation menus and create something beautiful out of it. This is why in this video we are going to show you how you can use the navigation menu and play around a little with the shapes, animation and a lot of other cool features that we have in store for you. We have already covered the part on how to create a menu. I will be listing the link down below for you in case you need to watch that tutorial first. And in this video, it's going to be all about navigation menus and a few tips and tricks on how to optimize them for better conversions. Let's start here on this page. On the left panel, you have all the elements to create wonders with. Let's search for the nav menu element, drag it onto the working sheet. Here, you will instantly see the menus that you have created being pulled into the page. And from the drop down section, you can choose which menu you want to display to this particular page and start configuring it. The options you have available will include to select the layout, either horizontal, vertical or drop down, which we will get to that when we design for mobile. Align the menu left, center, right or stretch it to full column. And then you have the pointer that highlights the menu items. You can choose between underline, strike through, animated, vertical or dot. If you set a pointer for the menu items, you can also choose an animation for the pointer to make it more attractive and elevate the look of your navigation menu. The submenu indicator is the icon that represents the submenu and you can select between classic, angle or plus. We'll go with angle. The active on scroll option will have the menu items be highlighted when users scroll down the page and reach various sections related to the menu items. Now we reach the mobile drop down section. Since making menus responsive is crucial for your website, the breakpoint option will allow you to decide on which device the hamburger menu will be shown. If you set it to mobile, it means that the menu will be shown on desktop and tablets, as you can see. But when viewed for mobile devices, it will instead be shown in a hamburger menu. Here you can customize how your navigation menu will look like on mobile devices. If you set it to full width, the drop down menu will take up the entire width of the screen. You can align the hamburger menu to be shown on the left, center or right. Let's move on to the style tab. This will correspond to how your menu will look and let's start with the main menu. Play around with the typography options like font family, size, style, line height and more. Set an animation for the navigation menu as well as the text color and the background color. In hover state, we will set distinguishing text color and background color and we will have the same shades be applied on active state as well. Set the vertical and horizontal padding for the navigation menu. Then also set the spacing between the components which we will set it to be 22 pixels. Set a border for the components within the navigation menu and configure their respective settings, like border radius or padding. In our case, these values will affect the hover state. It looks much better now. Next on the list, we have the drop down menu, which is our next component on the style tab, where all these options will affect only how the drop down menu will look. You can choose the text color and the background color. You can decide to add a border for your drop down menu. Set the width, the color, Alter the border radius or add shadow to it. We'll do so. You can also configure the padding options where you can determine the vertical and horizontal padding values for the drop down menu. After you're done with that, you can also customize the divider with its options choosing the border type. You can set the distance between the drop down menu and the menu item. Also, while we're here, let's tweak the padding values. Last from the style tab, we have the toggle button. Let's switch to mobile preview for this. You can assign a color for the toggle button as well as a background color. You can set the size, the border width or border radius, all depending on the design you wish to create with all the tools available for you. And lastly, optimize your navigation menus to look great on mobile devices as well. When switching between devices, the values you put while editing in one device will not be attributed to other devices. We will set a text color, also a background color. We will have the border to be solid and the color will be set to this gray shade. Add a box shadow. 
set the horizontal and vertical padding values. We will set the distance for the drop down menu to be the value of 10, and we will also add padding values around the drop down menu. It looks much better now. This is all on how to create navigation menus with Neuron Themes. Make sure to check other videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos like this.